I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic proof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song Can you hear me now? So, it's like every time Windows does an update, this fucking microphone changes. Welcome to Thursday nights is what I was saying. Now you can sadly hear me. Fantastic. Welcome everybody. It's Thursday night. NAW is live. Episode 565 is live. So what's going on, everybody? You guys doing all right? I see some redeems coming in. I see some spin wheels. I see some various things. Uh, yeah, you guys doing good. You're doing good. Uh, it's Thursday, 
8 o'clock Eastern. NAW has lived on this night and time slot for a long time now. Another bit donation from KH. Hip, hip. All right. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Um, with that being said, we are just two weeks away from our next pay-per-view already, which is crazy to think about. And we've already had a few people qualify for the main event at the Clash pay-per-view coming up. Uh, we're excited for that, though. It's going to be good. One. How dare I ask if Ty's doing good? Hey, you know, what's up doing? And yeah, let's talk about tonight. Let's segue into that. Tonight, wh what do we have in store for you? Well, we have in store for you the return of good old JR, the tag team. They're coming back here tonight live, kicking things off in a contendership match. That's right. Nevertheless, you add your f name to the female? Why? Why? I don't know. But yes, number one contender, tag contender, kicking us off here tonight. Also in action. I gotta ask, Demon Bo, welcome. Uh, they they found us last week, and they redeemed to be on the show. So, uh, Demon Bo, welcome to NAW. I think you're the first person to use like an actual image image like that for your character. Hundred bit donation from Smoking Troy. Hip hip. All right, thank you very much, sir. Uh, he does have the custom portrait. Never seen that. No, no, that's new. He's the first. So, welcome, Demon Bo. You are officially the first to do so. He has been the talk of the town. I'm interested to see what he's all about. I've never seen him in action before. This is the first Demon Bow makes their debut tonight. We also have a five-woman match. Maverick, Amy, Angelina Angelo, I believe, making their debut as well. Catherine Storm and another Daisy Lee making their debut. The butts. We got three debuts so far tonight. So big opportunities in store for them what else do we have let's see we have a six man match tonight this is a i believe a contenders yes dna contendership match ollie the icon bear briggs frosty garmer i believe i said that right did i say that right and mr cause bang bang and here comes the bang how are you doing we also have a triple threat NAW number one contender match, Lana, Eve Steele, Emma in action tonight. Touch their butts. You know it. You know it. Got it right? I got to call you that. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, Garmer. Not Cage. We'll do our best. Twitch Championship, the title that is now defended every single show. If you want to compete for the Twitch title, you no longer have to be a contender. Just redeem and you're going to get in a title match if you want to chase after that belt every single week. There are seven people chasing after that belt from Hoku this week. It's going to be Yamashita, Troy Andrews, Mark Caliber, Atticus, Irob, Vincent Storm, and Anthony in an elimination pinfall submission knockout, I believe. And yeah, poor Hoku. This is going to be a tough fight, but the Twitch title is going to be one of the toughest ones to hold on to. But it is going to be the easiest opportunity, easiest, I should say, lightly. Um, one of the quickest opportunities for you to try to get a belt here. So... Keep in mind and watch how many people redeem for it, and you'll see. Speaking of redeeming, I see some spin the wheel coming in. I've added some more options to the spin the wheel prizes, good and bad. We'll see what those are all about for our redeemers here tonight if they land on one of the new ones. What's up, Lana? First, 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 first. Also tonight, we got Cody King and CJ Frost, and it looks like Cody King has friends. Hopefully, we'll learn all about that here tonight. We'll find out more, I'm sure, as the show goes on. And then in our big main event... A six-man first pinfall or submission non-elimination rules. This is an NAW number one contendership match. Slash Jacob Evans, Bear Briggs rated me. And Hunter Owens, the winner of that, will advance and head to Clash for a championship opportunity. That is right. That is right. You redeem for the DNA? I will check redemptions. Make sure you guys check the cards on our Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, do so. Search for Nerd Ackerman Wrestling. You know, check it out. Let us know. Let us know. He says, yo, yo, we are here. What's up, church? So what's up, everybody? It is episode 565. We are live. Let's kick off the card. And again, we're kicking things off with the tag contender match. Let's go.
It is time! NAW, I don't know why the loading screen didn't work, but hey, that's cool, whatever. This fucking game, I tell you. Anyways, our opening contest. Let's get prediction polls going, shall we? Let me launch that. Again, good old JR back in action. Who is excited for that? It has been a hot minute since we've seen them in action. And I will get to the spin wheels, probably a few matches in, giving everyone a chance to redeem. But let's see. Conjuring, Temple, and good old JR in our opening contest. Get those predictions in now. And those are up and live. Let's go. Is it common knowledge that Ty doesn't like hugs? It is. So everybody give Ty hugs. He does not like hugs. It's true. It's true. The smiles not even know what Luigi is. You guys know the Mario Bros. last names? Pop quiz for you. Do you know their last names? Maybe. Oh, I forgot to say, this match is in a hell in a cell. Because you know I love those. Sorry, not sorry. Irob says Mario. What's up, FaZe? Welcome back to chat, my friend. Smiles is Harris. Icon says it's Mario. Do you guys agree with that? That. There we go. Introducing first from Sao Paulo, Brazil. We got one half of the temple. We really need to update their tag entrance again, apparently. Apparently, I got a race. But here we are. Smiles, as far as we know, knows nothing. Count Air says it's Mario, 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 and Luigi Mario. Lucky says Mario for show, for show. Do you guys all agree with that, that it's Mario? A little bit of pop quiz there. The last name is Mario. You guys are too smart. Look at you. Yeah, that is correct from my understanding. I read something recently. Do you know what the M stands for on Mario's hat? Because one of the like developers said something that blew my mind, and I think they were just messing with people. For those of you just joining us, get your predictions in. Check out the options for the nerd cred for redemptions to get booked here next week. There it is, Emma. Metroid. Yes. That doesn't make any damn sense. You just made the list. Yo, Garmer. Yeah. With the resub times three. Thank you so much. Don Air says it says from yeah, Metroid. So what's the L on Luigi's hat stand for then? Metroid? This doesn't make sense. You already said that's all right. Thank you, though, for the support. Gravitas is in the house here tonight. Glad to see him back in action. Glad to see you all back here in chat with us. That's right every Thursday, 8 p.m. Stands for winner. Wario means Wetroid. <laughs> that sounds really bad. L. Gravitas! That's right. Waluigi, yeah. Waluigi! Let's go, Temple! That's right, you know it! The redemptions are coming in. I love to see it. Love to see it. The S on Smiles Hood stands for Super Califragile Doshis. See a lion. Because even though the sound of that is something quite atrocious. Mark Caliber. Mark, you're here tonight, man. I'm excited for you. Make sure you earn that nerd cred and redeem, 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 guys. I want to book you. I just got to keep it fair and balanced, right? At a combined weight of 349 pounds. And hey, Waluigi's toning up on an L in his cap. Really? Oh, you're right. I knew that. Jinx. No. They're not beating me tonight. We want tables, Kaz. I got a prize for you, my friend. Kaz is competing tonight, I believe twice, sir. And one of them is a tables match. I did that for you. The Lord of Awesome. That could be fake news. It's probably fake news. 
SNL did a sketch where Wario's on trial for killing Mario on Mario Kart. <laughs> you guys think we should play Mario Kart again soon on stream? They got new tracks out. You're boring, I Rob. Don't you chat boring. They're Whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah, Kaz is back, man. It was not the same with no bang bang. You know what I'm saying? You love Mario Kart? I think we should have a Mario Kart night again soon. Or some crossplay? I don't think so. Here comes the bang. That's right, sir. Conjuring here. But ladies and gentlemen, it has been a hot minute. Good old JR back on N-A-W. Look at that. We got a raid. They know JR is here. Shout out to B Dub C. Look at that JR. Chance happening in chat. B Dub C. JR. N A W. For life. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good show today, sir. We need dance. It's been a minute since we've seen Dancing in the Rain. That's right. Hey, everybody needs a little vacation every now and then. It's okay to take breaks, guys. JR had the summer off. It's August now. It's time to get back. And they want those belts. Here we go. Hell in a Cell number one contendership on the line. Dancing in the Rain will come back. They will. Trust me. Everybody needs a short break. It's okay. Mario here, I mean Camden. Immediate cover on Gravitas. Hashtag just look at that. You guys missed JR, didn't you? The most dominant male tag team in the history of NAW back here. Hunter bit donation from Smoke and Troy. Hip hip. Alright, thank you very much. So Alright, Gravitas looking under the ring for something. What has he got in mind? What did he find? Doing nothing. I can't quite tell from this angle. Anthony on the outside. Oh, a baseball bat! Oh, he's dumping weapons in the ring. A bat with Camden. A sledgehammer now in the ring. Good lord. The violence here. You guys love this stuff, don't you? This disturbing violence here on a Thursday night. Smiles here trying to take out Gravitas. Drop that base! Are you guys hyped yet? Look at that. The crowd is going nuts here for good old JR. You love to see it, guys. I'm curious who the favorite is right now. I have not checked the predictions. Something tells me it's JR, though, but breaking that pin there. Baseball back to the side of Smiles, but he no-sells it. He says, not in my house. Here we go. Down into the cover. Smiles could win this thing for JR this quickly. Two and a half. Unreal. Could have been a quick match here for JR. Again, winning team will advance and head to the Clash pay-per-view in two weeks' time. Hope you all are as excited as I am for that pay-per-view. He said, I got it last time I took it from you, so it's fair. That's all right. You got to... You gotta lower your volume? No, it's meant to be loud. If you don't have this loud, you're not doing it right. That's why I yell. This is really loud in my ear. What's up, Rady? Welcome back. Everybody on the right side of the ring here, just a cluster F. Wasn't paying. Hey, it's okay, man. No apologies. Glad to have you here. Who didn't kiss who? Anthony going around the outside, back towards the right. Just everybody clustered on the right side of the cell here. 45-bit donation from Troy Hip Hip. All right, thank you for that, sir. Crowd booing here, they want some. 
trying to make scary sounds. Speaking of scary, we're almost headed towards spooky season. I'm excited. If you know anything about me, you know I love the scaries. I love horror. Love it. Live it. Yes, a cluster fuck indeed. Camden in trouble on the bottom right there. He's gonna get busted through the cell. Yes, the spooky season. Let's go. I might do some bonus streams. He's playing some scary stuff. Who knows? Be on the lookout for that. I Rob spitting out hate right now. He said JR is overrated. JR looking really good in their return match here tonight, though. Camden's in trouble, though. We should speak to soon. Yeah, why are you hating, I Rob? Why are you hating? Mortuary assistant. I have not. What is that on? Jet North and Anthony on the right there. You have 20 days until I spend two months in constant anxious. When are you not in a constant anxious panic already? Let's be real. Did you guys hear that? Thank you, Garmer. You love it. Yes, Battlefront 2 is coming. I promise you. It is coming. It's on Steam. Nobody has gone through the cell structure yet. I'm honestly a bit surprised. He said, "You ru we're ruling in BWC. You know it, dude. You know it. Through the cell, Ghost Camden. Mario is in trouble. Will we see action head up top, though? I'm begging for it to happen. But every single time somebody heads up top, the match ends. We never get to see it. This could be the beginning of the end right here. Heading up top. Are we going to see a moment for NAW? Camden. Camden going to make a moment. Oh my god. The crowd is electric. The Koopa head. Camden up top here. Very dangerous position. I'm watching this one closely. Medics are standing by. This is a very dangerous spot in this match. Cameras, can you... You can't see them. Camden in trouble here. Oh my. Someone's gonna die, Chad says. We can't see the action up there, camera crew. What are you doing? Gravity toss dumped outside the cell structure now. We have just violence everywhere. Yeet him off. You guys are just sick and sadistic. You heard FanFest is tomorrow, you heard correct. So ladies and gentlemen, FanFest, be on the lookout for that. Smiles heading up top now. The structure might break, Queen. This is dangerous. You gotta win in the ring, though. Conjuring in the temple, both in the ring right now. As Gravitas is scaling up the cell structure now. Oh my god. It's basically a 1v1 in the ring. Keep a close eye on the action in the ring here. Conjuring in control in the ring. Both members of JR on top of the cell as Conjuring could steal it right here. The referee's not pinning though. Oh no. Oh, delayed pin. Two and a half, the referee hesitated. That could have been the match. They're screwing the Conjuring. Oh my! Camden just chucked Gravitas off the cell! Holy shit! Anthony with the pinfall though! The Temple could have won there! Holy hell! This is unreal. Anthony though in the ring. Keep a close eye on them. Holy shit indeed. Oh my god! Another baseball swing, but a miss there. It landed that time. Anthony in control. Smiles up top still. And how is Gravitas standing and competing here? That's a great question. 
This is insane. <laughs> that shit is why we love the steel cage. Hell yeah. I have no clue how Gravitas is still going. And Anthony on the inside could pick up a win here. The Temple could be heading to the clash. Two and a half. Meanwhile, Smiles getting chucked around. And we got a staring contest between Cam and Gravitas. Anthony with another pinfall attempt. That'll do it. The Temple picking up the dub here tonight. What a match. JR had 95% support there, but the Temple picks up the win and they're headed to the clash. So much nerd credit. How much, how much did everyone get paid? 25 nerd credit for Chip. I'm curious how, how much everybody got paid for that one. So let's update the Temple here. They're headed to the pay-per-view. We'd love to see it. 16K? Good Lord. That's crazy currency, y'all. The ref screwed the conjuring. You bet 10 and got 250. 16K, though. Hey, Demon Bow. You are going to become an instant classic here. I already can tell. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest here is going to be a tables match with the returning Kaz. And we have Sweet T and Demon Bo. Get your predictions in, y'all. It is active. I'm excited for this one. You're at 12K now. <laughs> I don't want to hear no more about people not having nerd cred. Good Lord. That's a lot. That's one great render. I mean, that's uh, he's got the vest and everything. You see that? This guy's going all out. Is Demon Bow here with us tonight? I like sweet tea. I, I do like sweet tea. Who puts so much on JR? Apparently a lot. That's, that's crazy amount. Well, here comes the bang. Ladies and gentlemen, the returning Mr. You only had 2.5? You gotta be careful, that's right. Said, bang, bang! Sweet Tea is not an abomination. You were so wrong. You were so wrong. Bang, 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 bang. I'll be doing some spin wheels here tonight. So if you have some redeem for it, Check out the redemptions. There's a limited stock on everything. Keep that in mind. Does FanFest include commentary? No, I have to work. So no commentary. FanFest is a house show. So no commentary for that. It's an opportunity for you guys to earn extra nerd cred. So you're almost never wrong. Well, you were wrong there. And his opponents first. MXG with the redeems. He's got money to spend. He's going to spend it all. <laughs> and it's the uh, second to last show before the pay per view. So get him in now if you're, if you're trying to get in. You, yeah, that's the thing. I'll be working. So it's just going to be playing on in the background. If you miss it, of course, you can catch it on YouTube. Uh, but if you want to earn that coveted nerd cred, tune in for FanFest. I don't know how long it's going to go, but it'll be in the morning. All you had to do is accept that JR wasn't going to win and you made money. You know, here's the thing. Uh, what time? I don't know, 8 or 9 in the morning? Eastern? So like 12 hours from now. Who won and did anyone die? Gravitas should have been dead. He was in a staring contest after forgetting where he was. 
Is he actually in the game? We'll have to see. He might be. The boots. It's been a minute. We haven't booped. Everybody boop. As you say that in chat, it's been a minute. Y'all gotta remind me. And from you guys, Iowa, it's Demon Bo, baby. Pounds, All right. Demon. It's Demon. They didn't say Bo. Maybe it's a long, dramatic pause. So I have a task for people. I would love for the few weekly dosage episodes that we've done so far and some of your favorite clips, if people could go back through our old episodes and make some clips. If your clip makes our next trailer that we're going to make for the ending of the shows, I'll do bonus uh, spin wheels for you. So if you have time and watch our stuff back, make some clips of our old episodes and weekly dosages and old gnaws. Anything that you think is worthy of being in that little trailer that we do. Because I, I make one for the fall. So if you, you want a free spin wheel, that's a good way to do it. 40-bit donation from KH. Hip, hip. All right. Thank you for that, sir. All right. All right. He said, you said yay boots? He does look demonic. So we got Demon Bo Kaz and Sweet Tea. Let's see what they're all about in this tables match here. Dumped out of the ring is Sweet Tea Kaz and Demon Bo here. These three look like they could be a faction though, to be honest with you. Very similar pant styles almost. Oh, Brutal Nay. He said what a load of names. I didn't make them. I don't even think Demon Bo is... <laughs> Jolly said, um, no. <laughs> hey, you never know who you team up with. You don't like Demon Bo? You guys watch. He's going to be an NAW champion by the end of the year. Or this could be his one match. Who knows? Table getting set up here. This is a tables match. And it's down again. Demon Bo with a reversal. Nice kick there to Kaz. Yang them. Sometimes you just gotta yam. Nice kicks here. Demon Bow, we don't know anything about his style. We don't know his background. We don't know anything. Nice Panama Sunrise there from Demon Bow. Icon doesn't know this fool. Is anybody? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Demon Bow. Ah! Action continues here. Tables match. Get your predictions in while you can. Time's running out. Tables set up. Sweet tea. Getting no. He's not sure what to do with sweet tea. You will eat food. I'm confused. What do you do for 10 months? Yeah, who knows? Sweet T turning his attention to Kaz here. Combination strikes. Landed very effectively. He needs Demon Bo just doing backflips. He's not even in the match right now. What are you doing, dude? This kid. Oh, he's in it now. Combination. Nice kick there. Dropping Sweet T. He's got things under control. If he turns around, pump handle setup. What has he got in mind? Oh, very close to the table there. That could have spelled disaster in the end of the match for Sweet T. Call breaker. Bo turning his attention. Turning his attention to Kaz now. Oh, almost falling through the table. Brutal knee. The table's just in a very... Interesting spot. No, oh my. If Kaz could somehow superplex him. Oh, I thought he was going to slam him through. 
Demon Bo having some highlight reel content already in his debut. He doesn't know. Yes, we won tables. <laughs> the crowd is antsy. Sweet T setting up Bo now. Can he get him to the cause? Steal a double team effort. A double team effort. We saw a double team win the other week here. Kaz setting up Sweet T. Could he go through? No, the wrong way, Kaz. Why would you? <laughs> you had him up. Kaz, what are you doing? Turn Bow towards the table and slam him through a follow-away slam. And he misses the table. Not the Leroy. Kaz, it's easy. You're the master of tables. Why you no put him through table? Demon Bow has an opportunity. A nice reversal. The elbows to the midsection from Kaz. Sweet T back in the ring. He sent him up for a. Ooh, almost spiked him on his damn head. Sweet T can't decide what he wants to do with Demon Bow. Demon Bow fighting back now. Kaz eliminated from the picture momentarily. He's on the outside. Demon Bow, Irish whip into the table, setting up Sweet T. Demon Bow! Is Demon Bo gonna pick up the win? Demon Bo in his debut! Crowd chanting, this is awesome. You guys, it's Demon Bo. I'm telling you, this guy's the future. I don't know who it is, it's Demon Bo. That's all that needs to be known. Ladies and gentlemen, who will win? Submissions are done. 11% said Demon Bo. Who's getting paid? Kaz's a little rusty, he said. I don't know, Demon Bo looking good in his debut. What do you guys think? Demon Bo, do you see him as being the future? Future being the quickest out? No, the quickest out, that was uh, to Jonah. He was the quickest out. All right. Battle Royal time in the women's division. Who will win? Selena Maverick in action. We have Angelina Angelo debut. Amy Catherine Storm. And a debut of Daisy Lee, if I can spell that right. There we go. Get your predictions in now for our next contest here. That is live. Ooh, ladies looking cute. Quickest off the roster was Johnny Walker. How many matches did Johnny Walker have? I think a couple, right? What's up, Killer Clown? How you doing? Killer Clown, who's your character? I know you uploaded one. Who wrestles from inside where? He had like one match. Yeah, I know Walker had at least one. Did he have more than one? What's up, Grim? Killer Clown, I know you uploaded somebody. I can't remember who you uploaded though. It's the champ! Royal, making her way to the ring. Walker just had one match, that's it. Damn. Did he win? I don't remember. Oh shit, Emma! Thank you! I need to watch for Nerd Cred. Y'all, I am bad at this. Let me upload. Alright, there we go. Watch. I got an ad. Man. Thank you, Emma. Male or female? Both, killer. Which, who's who? What'd you do? There we go, Reckoning. You love to see it. I'm excited, y'all. Hope you guys are liking the re redeem options. I did, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm logged in as me, not the channel, though. That's why. Did Bang Bang win? No. Sad to not.
Ladies and gentlemen, returning to action here tonight, we got Amy. I saw that she was redeemed to be competing next week as well. You love to see it. Kaz, you did not lose. That is true. That is true. That's the sad thing about a triple threat match. You uh, would lose without actually losing. And your opponents first from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Amy Wills. So again, welcome everybody to NAW. We're live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you ever miss an episode, that's okay. We have a YouTube channel. Find us, Nerd Ackerman Wrestling. Every single episode over the last five years is archived there. And speaking of five years, we're celebrating five years with five giveaways of your choice. Five consoles if you want a console. If not, maybe we can talk gift cards. But we're giving away a console of your choice for every increment of 100 bits donated you're gonna get an entry angelina angelo here making their day butt emma gifting subs look at that lana got that sub you got a new attire i look forward to it grim is amy taller than i rob they're about the same height they're close He can't help he's short. Queen hasn't seen Amy since she teamed with you. It's been a minute. Two out of three tables? Yeah. Ready says, wow, has Emma's entrance? Amy's only 5'2". Oh, I thought she was about as tall as you. Emma's offended. I'm at 3.1 nerd, 3.1 K nerd cred. And the, the queen. The queen. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I made some tweaks to the stage for NAW. Looks a little different now. What do you guys think? I might change it again. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Angelina is a fan of Emma. Emma's gonna accept it because she likes the color pink. I like the color pink too. Your redeems aren't going through. Is the stock out? Is it out of stock? It should tell you if it's in stock or not. Fake Catherine Storm, you better win. <laughs> Catherine is the tallest in this match, she's queen. It says input error occurred. Cage says defo is. Rated got his redeeming. Rated the NAW champion looking to defend, of course. From New York, the Rebel, Rebecca Quinn. Daisy Lee here. Making their debut. Yeah. The announcer calling her Rebecca Quinn. Yeah. The Rebel. Jolly says you gotta get back in that NAW title picture. You missed that belt. It's a competitive scene. We'd love to see everybody try to get it though. Yeah, KH, I was confused by that as well. Yeah, there is stock limit on each of the redemptions, by the way. It's to avoid backlog and to avoid, uh, and Lana is online. That's you, all right. Kill a clown, that's you. What's your male character then? Did you upload one for the show too? But welcome, Kill a Clown. This is your official debut for your female character then. Feast of Famine, Jared for Tag, Smiles Contender, that's it. That's a lot though, dude. 100 bit donation from iRob, hip hip. All right, think of that, sir. Speaking of that spin wheel, we are going to get to that here. So don't you worry. 
don't have any options to redeem right now. It's a blank. Please tell me that shit's not broken. You have to log out, log back in, relaunch your app, whatever you're watching on. Not yet, no worries, kill it. No worries. Someone should unify the non-DNA titles. Why would we do that? Working fine for Ira. MSs don't unify. Shown for Troy. Yeah, if it's not working for you, close out of the app and log back in. I don't know. The champ Maverick rolling under the ropes to rest here. Yeah, why would we unify? I don't know. Have you tried him plugging play? Yeah. Must have been glitched. That happens. That happens. Maverick and Amy sparring on the left there. The champ just dropping Amy. Smack it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta smack it. Get in line. So, hey, you work. You better work. Hey. Good finds. Daisy Lee here looking really good. As well as Angelina. Looking like an angel. You get it? It's Daisy Lee and the queen in the top part of the screen there. Angelina is Garmer's younger sister. She is an angel, see? That's intentional then. We're learning things here tonight. Amy in a dangerous spot. The champion looking to eliminate Amy. Double team effort now. Daisy trying to get involved. Amy, precarious position. But she survives the elimination there. Makes me looking fantastic. You love to see it. No eliminations as of yet. Up, oh, Amy in a dangerous spot again. It's on the guard. Speaking of R, if you guys missed it, go back and check out our Sea of Thieves stream. That was a lot of fun. Amy eliminated on the north side of the ring there. Angelina in trouble here from the champ Maverick. And after this match, I'll do some spin wheels for y'all. Sound good? Sea of Thieves was really fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. I'm sure there's no... Arr, what's up, Cody? Our captain from Sea of Thieves. He helped us win against some evil pirates, and we did it. Mr. Whiskers. I yeeted the cat and the dog, and that made me happy. Speaking of, when is... Uh, Ollie and Dixon going to be competing for tag titles. We need to get them back in the tag title picture. Come on, we want Dixon Pussy to be competing again here. Because I want to say that 15 times during a match again. Yeah, I wanted the Megalodon. It never did come. It's not Dusty. Dixon Pussy. Come on. Angelina eliminated by Daisy. We did look like fools, but that's okay. All rewards claimed for this stream. That is incredible. I think that's the first in a while that everyone has redeemed every single available prize. Next week is going to be stacked. I hope you guys are excited for that. And then tomorrow, of course, earn that nerd cred back that you spent. Fan Fest will be on in the morning. And maybe a bonus in the afternoon. I don't know. It depends on my day. Not the dusty. Maverick looking good here as Queen's doing the dirty work. Wait, I thought they are all redeemed. How is Kaz still redeeming? I'm confused. Lana, are you okay? Yeah, you guys both redeemed. I thought it was full. Only the tag was. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. If you have nerd cred to spend, check it out. Oh, it was the men's tag. See? I thought it meant all, all. Lana, are you okay? Maverick taking it to the queen right now. Uh, Hashtag MAW22 if you want to submit your character on Community Creations. If you redeem with that nerd cred, we'll make sure they get booked. 
but the hashtag we use is that one, the NAW22. And then redeem for anything you want, whether it be just simply getting your character booked, or if you want to chase after a championship. That is the way to get booked. It's guaranteed that you get booked when you do that. And those become restocked every Thursday. For those curious, only on Thursday nights do we restock those redemptions. You can earn the cred to purchase those during any live stream, but we only restock them on Thursdays. Ty says this is murdering you. Why? Give them the Iconics. Maverick and Queen on the north side here doing battle as action continues. A lot of action still to come here. Bring the sussy and give the Y'all wild now. Hang time here with the vertical suplex as Daisy Lee watches on. Hesitation as she approaches the queen who is clearly the strongest in this match. But the dominator of the women's division definitely has to go to Selena Maverick. Ty has died, I don't know. Ira votes for just, oh my! Brutal clothesline, the queen was just eliminated. It is down to Daisy Lee and Selena Maverick. Maverick playing possum here. Springboard forearm strike. But man, both back standing. A submission that's not going to win you this type of match. It'll wear you down, but that's not going to win here. Maverick pushes her back to the mat, says, Welcome to Naw, you're not ready for the champ yet. And she's going to show you why. Dominance for Selena Maverick continues in NAW. The top of the food chain in the women's division. Can anyone beat her? Here is your winner, Selena Maverick. Unstoppable. And the crowd loves her. Congratulations to Selena Maverick picking up a big win. 11% was in favor of her winning the prize. Where did the poll go? It ended. He's timed. All right, before we start our next match, I want to do some of the spinny wheelies. Who's this guy? We know who this guy is. Let me start a prediction. This was supposed to be Yuri versus Ty. Um, Ty versus Yuri? Question mark. Get your predictions in. Let me do the spin wheel thing when you guys do the predictions. I'm really confused on who this person is. All right, let's see who redeemed for spin wheels. Uh, four people so far. Yeah, that is, that's not Yuri. I don't know who it is. Ty is sad because it's not Yuri. Who's Bleary? 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 I'm confused. First spin wheel is going to Seth Maverick. Seth Maverick, our first prize in the wheel. Seth Maverick is unable to compete for the DNA or Twitch this month. No DNA or Twitch. Seth Maverick. That's a bummer. The icon next up on the spin wheel. What's the icon getting? 
from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 265 pounds. Icon getting booked in a handicap match. We will update you on that. You guys ain't winning such good prizes here, and I'm sorry. Troy Andrews. What we got here? God freaking dang it has joined us, Strand. Thank you so much for the follow. Clicking that follow button. Let me get this next spin wheel in. And welcome to the show. We're live every Thursday right here. You're in the right place. 100-bit donation. Hip, hip, hooray. Thank you for that, sir. Join Tank Contender next show. What's up? So let's see. Troy Andrews, we need a tag partner from you. Tag Contender. So let me know who you want to tag with. And his opponent. From Charleston, West Virginia. That's Lana yes, that is Lana. Her hitting the, the wheels have been bad so far. Yes, they have. What is this guy? What is happening right now? What the hell is this? I'm just so perplexed right now. We got blurry chance happening. Who is this guy? Can we get this man drug tested? What is happening? We got one more spin wheel. For I'm just beside myself. And then Ty, the next one on the spin wheel. Scuba Steve? I don't even know right now. Ty joining the tag championship match at the pay-per-view. Who is joining the tag match, Ty? Who's getting it? Did Seth? Yeah, Seth did. He uh, can't be in the Twitch or DNA contenders this month. Tyson's shit. Now you tell me, what is this? Imagine Ty picks Cody. <laughs> yep, fan fest tomorrow. Blurry and Ty here. Interesting. Cody says he is in my corner tonight. It's true. I don't know why. He said, um. <laughs> Why wouldn't you book JR? That's that's just my question, but hey. Ty here taking it to Blurry, who's uh, apparently a fan favorite. I've never seen this dude in my life. And here he is with scuba gear. He said, do you get the title shot to grab? I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Big forearm strike dropping blurry here. Tie in control of this match. Tie going up top. And misses. You see, I'm thinking about this way too hard. <laughs> blurry here. Confident. And he had, by design, accompanying him. I'm so confused. Ty, just thinking about it from a booking standpoint, what makes sense story-wise since so many of you are like, let's focus on story. Just saying. This is I need a manager tire. Pinfall time from Blurry here. Ty's in trouble. Submission hold locked in deep. Will Ty tap? He breaks up the hold. 
Yeah, people wanted stories, but nobody submitted anything. So. Because they didn't want stories that bad. They just like to complain. He says, Ty and Cody. So the thing that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you got it. He said, Artel, can you complain too? I mean, join, join the list. Ty with the pinball attempt, defeating Blurry here tonight. Picking up the win. Flurry's just too drunk. Oh, wait a second here. Ty going for the handshake. Flurry shakes hands. They made friends. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see how predictions went for that one. Ty with 56%. 3K channel points getting out there. Please screenshot this. There you go. And here we go. Our next, hold on, let me update my screens. Our next match is a DNA contender match. Winner will advance and head to the pay-per-view. Let me set up that prediction poll. Who will win? We got Ali in action here. Icon. Oh, let me do that. Garmer. Frosty, who will be in action again tonight. Bear Briggs and Mr. Bank Bank Kaz. Get your predictions in now. He said, let's do this. So winner of this will advance and head to Clash. Look at that. Kill the Clown excited too for Ali. You remembered to take the duck floaty off? He said, I've always been a dog person, but you got a kitten this past week and you're rethinking your choices. Did you name it Ali? Because if you didn't, you're making mistakes. Ali too. That's the right. Following contest is a six -man I like cats and dogs. You put it all on it, but hey, sometimes you gotta put it all on that killer. Sometimes you just gotta. Gabana, Gabana, Gabana. The banana, Gabana. Dolce, Gabana. I don't get it. Is that a thing? Is that like a brand? Ali! Dolce Gibini. I got it. You'll redeem for Ali and Dixon next week. Thank you, Troy. I want to see them back in action. Why do they boo the cat? Half this roster doesn't like the cat. Dolce? Don't you be cussing at me. There's A and but. Hey, I, I don't get into the branded stuff. Hey, don't blame me. I, I know it. I've heard of it before. I'm just playing. 35,000 an ounce? Yo. 
Big match later on tonight featuring this man right here. A member of the Venom Club will be competing against a man that really, they both have their own. And an exchange of words, not only in the locker room, but in the Facebook group that we have, a little bit of a wordplay battle. They finally get to compete in the ring for the first time one-on-one -on -one tonight. They're putting their money more than where their mouths are later on tonight. So this will serve as a warm-up match. The Grand Master, Troy says, the Grand Master. We know the Venom Club has been infecting so many worldwide. Cody is dubbing that match tonight, the pros versus the indies. Frosty says, after tonight, things will never be the same. Truth. One will be victorious, and the other and will be a giant New York, loser. Weighing in at 308 pounds, Will the Icon. The Icon here looking for a dub. Winner of this again advances to the pay-per-view for a DNA championship match. Was it all the way from Whoville? Icon's not the biggest for once. Right. Emma says, Venom Club is a disease it needs to be ridden of. That's what Cody plans to do. He plans to eradicate the poison that's been infecting NAW. And he's starting with Frosty later tonight. Phil Clown reminding us that Daisy almost won her debut match. It's true. An impressive debut. Praise be Cody King, says Emma. Raiders says Cody has to win a match first. Has Cody won a match yet since his return? And from the pits of hell, weighing in at 402 pounds, Gardner. Wouldn't be the only deal some of y'all have to get, get rid of. Damn. United people learn the truth soon enough. All right, all right. Raiden says, no, he hasn't. Cody can't catch a break in 22. Garmer here, a new guy for the roster. Very demonic. So I would rather have monkey box. This is Max fully fleshed out. This is his final form. Hyrop says Cody is a bum. Ready rooting for Cody. Damn. Emma would rather have the Rona last another few months than see the Venom Club. When you lose not Because they feel bad for you, Cody. I guess it's humbling to lose. You lack the capacity to feel bad. It's respect. <laughs> well, welcome Garmer to the roster here. We're gonna see what they're all about. Irob doesn't feel bad for Cody. It couldn't happen to a better man. Face Cody is something we haven't seen since 2019. It's not a day but it's an improvement. And this is the part of the show that we cut to commercial because this guy. If you guys haven't yet, Join us on Twitter. We have a Twitter. That's right. Dose of Nerd Acumen on Twitter. At Nerd Acumen. Make sure you follow us today. We're also on Facebook, Instagram. And we have a Discord. 
You can also find our archived episodes on YouTube. We have multiple channels. The most important ones, of course, are Dose of Nerd Acumen, our main channel, and then our wrestling channel, which is Nerd Acumen Wrestling. Every single episode is available there in conveniently compiled playlists for your viewing pleasure. And we're back from that commercial break. Oh, I'm not slowing down. This is my promo turning from the solution to the problem is more relevant now than ever. You failed and failure is something they can relate to. Damn! Kill a clown or rather drag their balls across broken glass than see Venom Club. Well, here comes the bang. See, that's the real record, I Rob, that Cody wants to go for. He wants to have more losses than you. He can't let others have records, so even if it's a loss record, he wants it. Doorman says, after the night, I'm going to give you a real reason to hate me. I mean, I know what it's like to lose. I've lost a lot, too. Don't feel bad. Here we go. Battle Royal Contest winner will advance to the Clash pay-per-view in two weeks' time. Planted down Frosty. Everybody's on a hot streak. Bear trying to take out Ollie. A lot of big men in this match. Oddly enough, I think Kaz is the smallest. There's so many giants. You guys remember the era of giants that were incoming left and right for NAW for a while? Is that era returning? A lot of big men. Even the cat is... <laughs> Frosty is the smallest. Kaz is small. And Kaz is not a small dude. Kaz is a big guy for the roster. But these behemoths put them to shame. Ira was around 250 losses. Well, damn. Ollie trying to get rid of Icon, but Icon reverses. Frosty planted down, but he's going to take a breather under the ropes. Garmer has Icon on the shoulders. But a nice reversal fighting out of that one. Meanwhile, Bear and Kaz on the north side of the ring. Frosty the snowman. I think you're the first one to say that. Frosty taking it to Ollie now. Meanwhile, Kaz big slam on Bear Briggs. I love to see it. Corman says no, he's not. <laughs> oh no! Ollie almost dumped out of the ring by Frosty there, but holds on for his life. Ah, the cat landed on his feet on the outside of the ring. Frosty eliminated Ollie. How unfortunate for Ollie here tonight. First one out of this match, not headed to the clash for the DNA Championship. Better luck next time. Just a reminder, though, I do believe Ollie has already qualified for the NAW Championship at the clash. So Ali will be main eventing the pay-per-view. Bear and Icon tying up at the top there. Meanwhile, Kaz resting. Icon hung up to dry on the ropes. Big super kick from Frost there, taking out Gomer. Gomer still in. the clown not pulling any punches there. Are there two limbs? Yeah. Only one of them. There's five in there. Kaz in a dangerous spot though. Kaz eliminated by Frost. We're down to four. A competitor has been eliminated. Suck a duck. There, that was a nice suplex 
from Frost made me think of Taz. Do they have duck suits? I don't know. They had the little uh, floating de flotation device. You're in the future. Oh, okay. Technically, you're in the past. You're like an hour behind. Emma's in the future. Nice spinning heel kick dropping Icon. Jolly's mad at Frosty. You hate to see it. Big kick there and a spinning heel, heel kick dropping Bear. Come on, Garmer. Get rid of that damn Bear. Too warm and feverish. It's not good. Icon turning his attention to Garmer now. Meanwhile, Frosty out on his feet. He's coming back too. Glad to know somebody got busted open. Please let it be Bear Briggs. Icon trying to just dump Garmer out there. Couldn't quite get him up though. That's a big man to toss around. Frosty in trouble here as Briggs guiding him to the ropes. Briggs trying to eliminate Frosty, and he does so. We're down to three. Icon, Garmer, Briggs, final three. Winner will advance and head to the pay-per-view for the DNA Championship. Landed down. You hope he gets spanked. Who's getting spanked? Icon sizing up Briggs. And a demon guy. Yep, a demon guy. Karma. Icon trying to fight through the demons. Can he do it here? Arabs says Frost is a bum. Nice reversal from Gar. He says, I rule the demons. I'm not just some demon guy. Bear now chucking Garmer against the ropes into the corner there, but Garmer fighting back. There is no stopping him. Brutal strength there. Says Ali got eliminated. Another loss for me for the Wildcat. Great question, DC. How is Bear the smallest in the ring right now? That is wild to see. Because Bear is a big dude. Imagine Irob being in the mix of this. Bear trying to eliminate Garmer now. Garmer's in trouble. Icon, ooh, Icon was gonna help, but he decided to showboat in the corner. Garmer eliminated, we're down to Briggs and Icon. Who's headed to the clash? Bear sizing up Icon. This could be the beginning of the end for Icon. This man can't catch a break. Wish they'd eliminate more than spam finishers. <laughs> Bear watch. Bear just annihilating Icon now. Has him up. Across the knee. And again. I'm gonna break his rib doing that. Your guy character is gonna be special. I hope so. Icon gonna get dumped out here. No! Come on, Icon, fight. Well, Bear Briggs, everybody. Yay, Bear Briggs. That's right, Troy, boo. We're on the same page for a moment here. You said Bear will win, you know the future. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh.
Take your time, yep, get up those ropes. We'll go to that bottom rope. Cool, bear, yeah. 29% said Bear Briggs. He'll be headed to the pay-per-view for the DNA Championship. Good for him. Hunter Owens survived NK. McKenny survived the Bear. It's a great question. Yes. Yes, he can. You've made so much credit today. See, sometimes it just works in your favor. Salty, yeah, just a little. It happens. It's okay. I just don't like Bear Briggs. That's all. It's okay to not like him, you guys. It's okay. Our next contest is the NAW number one contendership. The winner will advance ahead to the pay-per-view to face Selena Maverick. Who will it be, though? We got Eve, Steele, Emma, and we got Lana. Get those predictions in. This is a first pinfall or submission match. Bear got fed. Does the bear ever get full? That's the thing. So KH says it's a tribute to Angelina, to your in real life sister who passed away. I did not know that. That's that's awesome that you would honor her. Hopefully she does well here then. A trunch bowl? <laughs> what? Icon redeemed for NAW contendership again, yeah. I like to see it, Icon. I want to see you win that damn thing. I'm rooting for you. You've been trying for a long, long time for that belt. The following contest Eve Steele! The future NAW Women's Champion it says Dharma. You're face scan? No. It was my first attempt at doing a face scan, alright? I tried. I didn't know what I was doing. Why have I not redone it? We just haven't had the time. We do other things. Like sit and watch TV and eat Oreos. KH, aka Karma, says she'll destroy Selena. Maybe Icon will start the Iconic Era with unifying the NAW and DNA titles so you all can acknowledge me. There you go. When you finally win, just dominate. DCS, have you seen Selena in the ring? That is domination. What a do she became after joining Rhea? <laughs> Make me sleep on the couch. What? You want Frosty in two out of three tables? I'll have to look and see who all redeemed and how to figure out how to book a, a card. But like I said, if you guys want to push stories, submit stuff for me to air. I'll be more than likely to try to book specific matches like that if I can. Emma says, no unification, never happening. Little do you guys know, Emma's actually the boss around here.
Dina Nar ununifiable. The strawberry. And her point. HBRC. Representing the family from Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's true, she does hate sleeping alone. You might make a face scan of your face scan and wear it to bed. He steals someone, Kaiva is interested in fighting. And yes, Nas is the main DNA, is like the Intercontinental, that is true. You get a night shirt for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Emma, she don't like the snuggle, she don't want to be touched, she just wants somebody in close proximity to her. She don't want to be touched. And from Glasgow, Scotland. You're a touchy person. Princess Emma. I like cuddling. Lana does not. She don't want to be touched. I like yeah. to touch. How you doing? Princess Emma speak of the devil and she shall appear. Emma. That is weird. Emma says, I look sexy if I do say so myself. Yeah, that one fan, super hype. Go, Emma. We are Leeds 09. Thank you for the follow. And welcome to NAW. We're live every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you like wrestling content, you're in the right place. And you click that follow button. And I'm thankful you did. We're on the march to 1,500 followers. We'd love to hit that. I plan on doing a special show once we get there to celebrate. And we're approaching five years and 1,500 followers. It's been a journey, y'all. I'm excited. October will be officially five years since our first stream. So join us for that, of course. We're going to do something special. A homecoming show, if you will. Lana here. Lana, what are you doing? Dancing as Eve Steele and Emma are doing battle. Not up for grabs. Planted down. Emma in control again. This is first of all non elimination rules. Emma going high risk, top rope here as Eve Steele is on the outside recovering. Mr. Jolly Roger 71 wants your attention to cut a promo. I will destroy you, Frosty. You have started yet another war. You aren't ready for Bang Bang. Not ready for that bang bang. DC, you love having two? I got two, I just don't have it mixed like how you have it mixed. Mine's just got my pass through for the game. And then the actual like, chat and all that stuff on it. Eve Steele with a pinfall attempt on Lana now as Emma's on the outside recovery. Not even, just a one count barely. Oof, nasty kick to the side of the head as Lana tries to recover. Minecraft on one and strip. There you go. Nice reversal. Big right hand from Emma. Waist lock into the German suplex there. He's still distracted with trying to showboat. Emma saw it and took advantage of a pinfall attempt. He's still moving into the ring now. Emma just dropping shoulder. Interesting approach. Eve has the baseball bat. Crowd chanting for tables. Kaz, are you in the crowd now? Oh! Oh! Baseball bat. Look at this! Will Eve still dominate and be the next prospect in the women's division? Are those like devil bunnies? Submission locked in deep on Emma here. Meanwhile, Lana grabbed a chair. 
She breaks off that submission hold though. No bear breaks. Bad bear. Lana laying out Emma here. Goes in for the pin attempt. Oh, two count there. And see, she don't like to be touched. Big forearm strike from Lana. Emma laid out trying to recover. Standing drop kick from Lana. Springboard crossbody misses. Eve Steele sidesteps. Big uppercut. Nearly popping her head right off. Rolls through with the submission. Will she tap to Eve? Can she do it? Can she fight through the pain? She does. And into a cover. Leg was hooked there, but Emma breaking up the pin. And again, Eve with these multiple kicks. Trying to take the head out. Both Lana and Emma are laid out now. Eve still not sure who to go after. Plants her down into another submission. Will Lana tap? Emma's trying to break up the submission hold. Can she get there? She does. Springboard missile drop kick misses. Meanwhile, baseball bat. Emma annihilating Eve. This is a contender's match. Hooking both arms. Pedigree landed with authority. Cover made. Eve breaking it up. Eve now and Emma lock up. Emma taking Eve over to the ropes. But a reversal. She gets out of it. Nasty bat to the face. Elbows to the midsection from Eve to Emma here. Baseball bat in hand. What is Lana planning to do? She's just watching. Oh! Everyone needs a cold shower. Most likely. Elbow strikes back and forth between Eve and Emma here on the left. Lana maintaining distance wisely. But coming in now to go after giving Eve a break as she's shadow boxing. Where is Lana taking Emma? Emma fighting out of it now. This is a good match. Well, they got Lana dancing. What are you doing? Is she at the club? What is happening? Oh! Eve just smashed her heads together and Lana just spanked her ass at her and said, kiss my. Lana again maintaining distance here. Eve dumped out of the ring. Turn around, Emma. Emma's in trouble, but finds the ways like into the German suplex there. Trying and Rana. Kick in the midsection. Oh. Planted down. Meanwhile, on the outside here, Eve, what are you looking for? Pinfall attempt. Get back in the ring, Eve. Whoa, two and a half. Lana almost stole the thing. Big spear. What the hell? Into the cover, but let's go of it and goes for another. Meanwhile, Lana's dancing. What are you doing? Unreal. Lana now. That scissor takedown. Eve no selling it, trying to get immediately back up to her feet. Into the cover. Lateral press. Not enough though. Emma with a swing to the spine. But Lana no sells it. You just got hit in the spine with the baseball bat. Who gets right up from that? My God. Ooh. Lana turning her attention as Eve rolls out of the ring. Lana and Emma now. Well, they just build different. I'm different. 
What do we got in mind here? Pulls through, has the legs. Lana could pick up the win here and head to the pay-per-view. Lana picks up the win. Damn, what a match. Eighteen percent said Lana here. Somebody's getting paid. Rev is about to count to four. <laughs> Damn. Here is your winner, Andrea. Big win! Congratulations. Lana heading to the clash in two weeks to face Selena Maverick. Good luck. She got hit with five fins, yeah. It is time now for the Twitch Championship. Let me set up the prediction poll for this. We got Hoku, the defending champion. Vincent Storm. Mark Caliber. If we can spell the name right this time. Troy Andrews. Anthony. We got iRob. My boy Atticus returning to action. You'll love to see it. Yamashita. Get your predictions in now. This is pinfall submission elimination rules. You like it from Lana, bro. <laughs> Your fourth redeem. We'll find out here. Good luck. All right. And this is the moment. I go pee. I shall return. I miss. Chubby hubby. The machine has a walking stick. So yeah, Yama, did he say Yamashita? Damn. I come back and everyone's shitting on everyone. Speaking of. Weighing in at 195 pounds. Hi, Rob. Speaking of a 100 bit donation I missed here. Hip, hip, all right. Think about that, sir. All right. And you definitely said they hit a walking stick. Well, damn. 
This is for the Twitch Championship. I did not say fuck the mid-carters. The mid-carters have an important role, and clearly it was my bathroom break. <laughs> This could end up being match of the night, though. We don't know. That's the thing here. He said bathroom break. <laughs> I do. This is uh, one of a few times where I do take bathroom breaks. I've been slamming a lot of water, okay? I'm trying to drink more water. And that, that ends up being uh, more bathroom breaks. Just need me to piss. I'll just start... An Acumania for the next like five hour show, I'll just wear a diaper and piss myself. Does that make you guys feel better? It's so gross. I'm just sit in my own pee doing the stream. They're having fun too. It's not sanitary, guys. It's not sanitary. I know astronauts do it. Former Twitch champion looking to get his belt back. I know he takes a lot of pride in the Twitch championship. Absolutely will not what? Angelina very well could be a future women's champ. To do the pregame, yeah. I mean, we're only, to be fair, an hour 40 into this stream. It's not very long. Like I said, I've been drinking a lot of water. KH hates Venom Club, but Troy is his homie. I didn't say they were all bad, I just don't understand the motivation of them. That's what we're all trying to, we're getting led along here, saying there's this big reason we're, we're waiting Osaka, for it. Though. Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. 20 minutes of entrance. <laughs> Ty, don't you love it though? Hey, we, we pay a big budget for their entrances here. He said no, actually. Well, damn. Do you guys want me to turn off all entrances and just have entrances for pay per views? It would shorten our show significantly. Or do you guys like having the entrances on? So that's the thing, the game won't let me do entrances off for specific matches. They're all on or all off. Like there's some glitch in universe mode. I don't want to be hitting the button to skip them. It ruins the effect of a show. If they fix that glitch, I can skip them. What's up, Stepsis? This is Universe Mode. We're live every single Thursday with our league here. All the characters are our chatters. All the people in chat here tonight. They earn channel points by watching every single week. And then they redeem to chase things like championships. And damn. I did not rate it. I forget. You gotta remind me on Wednesdays. That's when I update everything. He said a stone pop. Can I, I can skip him though, but. Is this the first person to use the Jeff Hardy entrance? You're a chatter. Man, what do you, what do you want to call a viewer? Chatter? I don't know. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in. Mark Caliber, you're officially. Here in a championship match. Lovable assholes, it's true. Oh, 
He said using the face paint was over. Maybe he's a huge fan of Jeff Hardy. I don't know. I don't know. Should we say cheers? Cheers. What's everybody drinking tonight? Cheers for Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy Fortnite spin now. Yikes. Vanilla Coke? That's good stuff. I do like that. Coffee. You had a good root beer earlier? Right, it's water. Good man. Water's good for you. Anthony! From Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's weighing in at 259 pounds. Anthony! The future Osborne! French vanilla coffee trying to get your show together? Hell yeah. Why do you guys drink coffee so late? Just out of curiosity. to keep you going. Pepsi Cherry, yes. They're having fun too. I love, love Cherry Pepsi. Just used to drinking coffee. Who, who brought Con Air's catching up. That would be Mark Caliber, Mr. Con Air. I do drink pop before bed. I was just curious about other people. You make me feel weird about it. Man. Mom drinks coffee any time of day or night. The caffeine doesn't keep her awake. Yes, yeah, same. The caffeine, like, it helps wake me up and get me going, but it doesn't, like, at night keep me awake. Don't have how many? All right, now I have to know how much do you drink, Killer Clown? Atticus right here. Twitch champ. Spoiler alert. Pounds. This man is going to be a Grand Slam champion. Mark my words. He's just got to get those belts. Yeah, I want to know the future, Raider. What's the future? Six pots a day? That's a lot of coffee. Fifty-five ounces. I do love coffee, but damn, that's a lot of coffee. Raiders says Atticus will not win this match. That's a lot of negativity. I don't like that negativity. He must pee a lot. I mean, yeah, you, you just piss in coffee. You put rum in your coffee. That could be good. What do I think is more iconic? You can't see me or RKO? Great question. I would have to say you can't see me. Introducing the champion, Twitch champ. Thunderbird 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 Playing in at 361. You take half a pot, a single cup. Yep. It's crazy. Hoku, the Twitch champion here, has a tough match ahead of him. Elimination rules. So he does have to be defeated to lose the belt. That is a nice, I don't want to say advantage, but there's no disadvantage there, but he does have to fight seven other people that want the belt. This is the most difficult belt to hold on to in NAW. My God, things are starting off crazy. This is going to be that kind of match, huh? 
Good lord. All right, just shenanigans right off the bat here. The champ immediately eliminated. We're guaranteed a new champion. Atticus just pinned the champion. Holy shit. Jolly, just, that just happened. Great, it said, told you, new champ. That's a crazy way to start the match. You hate to see it. We are guaranteed a new Twitch champion here tonight. Who's it gonna be, though? This is gonna get crazy real quick. Could it be Mark Caliber? Could it be Yamashita? Yeah, we do gotta fix the bouncing in that shit. These elimination matches are the only ones like this. Storm here trying to take out Atticus. Troy Andrews dumped into the ring by Anthony there. Ira rolling out of the ring to head towards Anthony. Big five numbers, one through 80. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23. Pinfall attempt, kick out at two there. Storm trying to get rid of Troy Andrews. Referee doesn't even count the pin there. Meanwhile, Mark Caliber on the outside with a pinfall. Doesn't even get to one. Atticus back in the ring, headed towards Troy here. Hi, Robin Atticus logging in. Mark Caliber with a pinfall. Two count there. Falls count anywhere. Pinfall. Oof. Somebody bounced off the ring post, the LED board there. Submission attempt locked in deep. I rob with a submission hold on Atticus. He fights through it. Will you be able to redeem during house shows? Nope. Only on Thursdays at the beginning of the show do we restock. Otherwise, we would have way too many people booked for Thursday nights. It would be eight man plus matches, 16, 17 matches. Uh, it would just be way too much. Uh, the, the house shows are a way to earn more nerd cred for those struggling to earn them. Just like Tuesday nights, join us for community nights with the weekly dosage, another way to earn, but redemptions are off on Tuesdays. Yeah, it's all about balance, no backlog. Can't have that again. Chaos continues, the champion eliminated quickly and then no other eliminations as of yet. Big move from Storm, cover on Troy. Troy eliminated. The man that wanted the Twitch belt so bad, unfortunately out of this. We have six remaining for the Twitch championship. Guaranteed a new champion in this match. Who's it gonna be? Storm taking down, trying to take out Anthony and Atticus here. We still got two matches on the card yet tonight. Cody Frosty coming up next, and then our big NAW contender main event. Rated says surprisingly, I Rob wins. Let's see if this man can predict the future. Jackhammer time for Anthony Atticus with a cover on Anthony. Can he eliminate him? Two count only. Meanwhile, everybody over on the right side of the ring there. Referee scrambles out. Looks like a pin happening from Yamashita and Mark Caliber. Two count there. Mark Caliber kicks out. Meanwhile, Anthony Anakis in the ring now. You're going to buy lottery tickets? As you should, man. Rope break there, saving Atticus. Anthony going high risk though. Mark Caliber kicking out at two again. Kick to the spine from Anthony here. Ira back in the ring going after Storm. Beautiful flying from Anthony covering Atticus now. Chaos on the outside, they're trying to dismantle the commentary table. As you can see, the monitors there bouncing around everywhere. 
What's Yamashita doing? A little bit of dancing. Oh my! We just had we just had double eliminations. Who got eliminated there? Anthony eliminated. Mark Caliber eliminated. I think Irob is just knocked the fuck out. Multiple eliminations simultaneously there. We're down to three. Vincent Storm, Yamashita, and Atticus, our final three in this contest. Atticus dumped into the ring by Yamashita. He's sizing up Atticus as Storm back in the ring now. Oh, Atticus is in big trouble here. Atticus just got knocked out. It is down to Yamashita and Storm. Insiguri tanked down there. Yamashita a little bit of showboating here. But Storm blocks him. Dragon Screw takedown. Storm now has an opportunity. Dumps. Yamashita outside, my God! This man. We need to watch this man so closely. He has been putting on just insane matches and moments. Holy hell! Vincent Storm picking up the win here in this one. My God! Don Air says, LFG, let's go indeed. Yama Jericho was so close. He was. But I'm telling you, Vincent Storm. This he man could be the future. New Internet Champion, Vincent Storm. Big win here. New champion crowned Vincent Storm. Congratulations, sir. Incredible match. Just chaos, the multiple eliminations back to back. That was nice. The unfortunate elimination from the champion first out. I was honestly surprised to see that. But big win. Here we have it. A match that's been weeks in the making. Cody King, CJ Frost. Let's get those predictions and who will win. It started off on social media with a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of flexing, if you will, people claiming that they are the best. Well, talk is talk. And now they have an opportunity to walk the walk here. We've seen plenty of people run their mouths throughout the five years of NAW. Not as many have showed up and backed it up in the ring. What if they both lose? That is an option. There is count outs. They could get counted out. They could get disqualified. We don't know what's going to happen with this one. Anything could happen. Predictions are live. Cody King. 100-bit donation from iRob. Hip, hip. Hooray. Thank you for that, sir. And we have one of the members of Venom Club, including a few other members, and the leader, Kaiva, and Yuri here. And, of course, CJ Frost. Get your predictions in now. Our main event coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. You can't vote for that. No, you can't. <laughs> no, no, you can't. So, I do want to point out, I'm feeling a bit betrayed, as Ty, to no surprise, is backing Cody, and also Bear Phillips here, backing Cody. So I guess if you can't get wins by yourself, you gotta buy your friends. Friends. 
It is a curious move. I don't know what this means for Gravity Ty. Like I said, I feel betrayed. I don't know if it was meant to be. But Ty here, to no surprise, coming out with his allegiance to Cody King. Me and Phillips? No. Here's the thing. Phillips has the problem with me. He needs to prove that he's not going to be, let's say, uh, untrustworthy. Cody King says, I trained them both. And yet, here they are stepping back into the shadows of Cody King, the loyal servants. He said, time to get this match going. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Destroyer, C. Troy says, let's go Venom World Order. Again, weeks in the making here. This is pay-per-view match material. But the stars align, and here we are tonight with this match. Ty, it's not me. It's Phillips. I'm telling you. That man has a chip on his shoulder. Cody says, uh, we knew Frost wouldn't leave his goons in the back, but here we go, big match fail here. This has been weeks in the making. Cody King, CJ Frost. Oh, using the referee here, no surprise. We got cheating from Venom Club starting this thing off here. Onto the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. Cody is not having a good start in this match either since returning from his leave of absence, as he calls it. He has not won a single match. Coming up short every time. A win here would definitely not only bring momentum to whatever he has planned with Ty and Phillips, but also he's trying to shut up that man flying through the air, Frosty. Big splash, and now leg is hooked. Kicks out at one, though. Look, you didn't immediately get pinned, Cody. You're making progress. I'm proud of you. Oh, he blocked that at a headbutt. What does he have in mind here? Planted down. Killer Clown cheering on Cody here. But he blocked the kick. Back and forth, these two are pretty evenly matched, but spitting how blood is frosty here. That's not a good sign. Up on the shoulders, hanging him up to dry in the ropes. Cody with a takedown attempt, but a reversal and a stomp from Frost now. And he has locked into a submission, but the ropes, ref. Is he close enough to the ropes? Not close enough, but Cody fights through the submission attempt. Comes in swinging multiple lefts here and a right. Has him tired on the ropes. That combat training style from Cody King Air Senton. Splash onto the body of Frost. Cody going high risk. We don't see this all too often. Big elbow driven deep into the heart of Venom Club with that one. Cover made. Yo, oh, two count, kick out. Unreal. Nice roll, but catches him with the knees. He caught him off guard in the cover quickly with Frost here. And a one count. Nice slam as Frosty setting something up. The disrespect now. What is he doing? They lock up belly to belly. My God, just dumping him around the ring. Now mounted strikes, this is a damn fight now. 
All the trash talk for weeks has led to this moment. Oh, look at this. Frosty with that spinning hail kick, nearly beheading the king. Two count. Cody survives. Frosty says that was three, ref. Going to the middle rope now, sizing up Cody. Catches him. Midair quickly into a cover. Cody's in trouble here. Two count again. Frosty getting pissed. Trying to size him up. Will Cody get caught in whatever Frosty has planned? Can he do it? But an elbow! He saw it coming! And he clotheslined him back into the buckle. Cody coming alive and he was playing possum. Both men back standing now. They lock up. Frosty gets the quick advantage here and catches him with that knee into a brutal German but does not stick with the bridge. Frosty going up top again. Cody flailing about. Is he okay? Cody might be hurt. Cody might be hurt here. Cover. I don't know if Cody's okay. That was a really weird exchange at the end there. Frost picking up the win though. We might have an injury. Some highlights here, the match. Venom Club picking up the win to no surprise. He said, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. He was ragged on the ring. We need medical attention for Cody King here. He said, lame and stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Medical attention. We need someone to check on Cody there. That did not look okay. Yeah, he got twisted up. Yes, yes he did. We're not in Kansas anymore, he said. Well, Venom Club picking up the win here tonight. How did everybody do with the voting? 39% said Frost. It is time for our main event of the evening. This is for the NAW contendership. The winner will advance to the pay-per-view. Let me get our predictions live for this one. Who will win? Slash. Jacob. Evans. Grav. Rated the NAW champion. If he wins this, no one advances. There's one less person facing him for the belt. Or Hunter Owens and Bear Briggs here, the others. Yeah, what, what did happen in Kansas? I'm confused. Will he have his belt this time? If you do, I'll take a picture of your entrance for you. <laughs> so, important note on this match. Normal rules. No knockouts. First pinfall or submission only. This is going to be an interesting match. Slash. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from your darkest fear. All the spooky in, demons. This is the, the scariest Zion man Zion. on the roster, in my opinion. I don't like it. This 
see. If I don't say anything, he doesn't look my way and we're okay. So, Rated, what's your future prediction for this one? Everyone would like to know to help influence their predictions in our main event here. Hey, he's got the belt. Rated says, I lose. That's your prediction. And from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 274 pounds, the world champion, the Punisher. So smart strategy here for those that are champions with our new format. If you're a champion, redeem to be in a contender match for your belt. Because if you win, that means no one advances to face you at the pay-per-view. The more you continue to block contenders, the longer your title reign will be. That is a strategy you want to complete. That's my opinion anyways. Not that that matters. But it should. This man is trying to chase the NAW Championship for sure, but also remember he is in Money in the Bank already too. Will he be the next Money in the Bank holder? Weighing in at 304 pounds, Jacob, the X Factor, Evans. Big main event here. This is gonna be an interesting one to watch. It could end very quickly. Or this one could be a just all out brawl. First pinfall or submission for this one. Super focused here is Evans. So yeah, again, for champions with our new format, there are generally three episodes before a pay-per-view, meaning if you're a champion, you could have up to three opponents unless Spin Wheel adds more at the pay-per-view. So successfully blocking at least one if you put yourself in contender matches, that reduces it from a four-way to a three-way or even a 1v1 at the pay-per-view. It is a smart strategy in my opinion. The man. Well, indeed. And from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Weighing in at 245 pounds, the boss, Travis. Thank you, Ty. I want this so, so bad. I need to headline another pay per view. I have been in the championship picture at every pay per view since Acumania 4. I am not about to let my streak end at the clash. I need to be involved. I need that championship. That is my obsession. I need that belt. Frankly, I know I deserve it. What's up, the beast? Hopefully, I'm going to prove it to you all here tonight.
and prove it to Ty that together we could be strong, but I'm weary of your decisions. Is that wrong? <laughs> This and man, from Anchorage, Alaska, I just can't get rid of him. Pounds, we constantly Briggs. are crossing paths, and it's really driving me absolutely crazy, Briggs. Absolutely. Yeah. Ty says, you don't need to prove anything to me but the fact you can get over a grudge. Man. I don't know if you know me all that well, then. That is one of the most difficult things to get over for me. No, bear! Yet again we cross paths. I swear to God, if you ruin my opportunity, bear, I'm gonna be pissed. But a hundred bit donation from Cody. Hip hip, all right, thank you for that, sir. If Bear Briggs pins me to win this damn thing, you don't wanna know what is coming your way, Briggs. It will be time for the bear to hibernate. That is a fact. Rated says, sadly, bear does win and he pins you. The hell he does. That is not the way. And from Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 212 pounds. The classic slave champion, Hunter, the unpredictable Owens. So Hunter Owens here, DNA champion. Looking to acquire another belt. Great question, Ray. What happened to Ice Tray? Are we purging that character? He did win. Oh, that was nice. The stream is glitchy. We should be back. It looks like I dropped a few frames. We should be back. So again, first fall or submission in this match. Normal rules. This is not elimination. Keep that in mind. Anything could happen, and it could happen quickly in our main event here. Hunter bit donation from DC. Hip hip. All right, thank you for that, sir. Gravity. Oh, we're hiccuping again. Gravity and Hunter pairing up. Rated and Bear and Slash and Evans. As you say, where has he been? <laughs> Draymond is back in the picture. <laughs> you love to see it. So no finish attempts here as of yet for this match, but we got Rated and Grav rolling out of the ring. This will give opportunity here for anyone to attempt to make submissions or pins. Again, this thing could end very quickly or it might go on. There will only be one victor and one loser. The others will be just standing by. Big move from the top. Evans with a pinfall on Slash. This thing could have been over that quickly. Minua Hunter on Briggs. Planted down. Rated. Hey, familiar friend and foe. How you doing? Dumping you out of the ring. Goodbye. I'm going to follow though. It looks like big elbow drop. Meanwhile, in the ring, Evans and Hunter. Baron rated on the outside. Don't run. I'm not running. We're fighting. Look at Bear here. Distracting Evans, and he's annoyed. Oh, no. Slash. Planting down Owens with a cover. Owens in trouble. This thing could be over with a rope break. Saving the life of this match and Owens. 
Rated and grab fighting. Rated face first off the post there. The LED board. Owens with a pinfall attempt on Slash. Camera crew, we can't see the action happening for the love. We see Briggs taking it to Evans, but Hunter Owens with another pinfall attempt. Owens picking up the dub. He's headed to the pay-per-view. Told you this thing could go quick, or who knows? Damn. That almost went faster than the damn elimination matches that you guys say are too fast. <laughs> Let's see. 1% said Hunter Owens. And you put down Slash to do it too, he says. What can I say? Here is your winner, Hunter. The DNA champion is headed to the pay-per-view to go after the NAW championship. He could be a double champ at the end of the clash. Making a name for himself very quickly here in NAW. What can I say? 1.3K, I'll take that, that's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 565 of Naw. Tune in tomorrow morning sometime for FanFest. If you're low in nerd credit or you just want to hang out and watch some matches, we will be airing some stuff. Uh, hopefully, if I can get to it, the tournament matches that I promised you all will begin. If not, they will begin soon. 10-bit donation from Chris. Hip, hip. All right, thank you for that. And I rob 100-bit donation. Hip, hip. All right, thank you for that. Let's go. So, again, I have to update the brackets as we've had some adjustments with people and their characters that they're using. But everybody on the roster is going to get a title opportunity in that tournament. Win and you advance, lose, you're out. So be on the lookout for that. The tournament's for an NAW championship match. A one versus one NAW championship match. So... 100-bit donation from DC, hip hip, hooray, thank you for that, sir. And 100 from IROB, hip hip, hooray, thank you for that, sir. So it may not begin tomorrow, but those matches will take place during FanFest episodes as we wind down uh, closer in the, like, let's say, final eight or final four. Then those will be part of these live episodes. And then the winner of the tournament will get a 1v1 match for the NAW Championship. So everyone on the roster has an opportunity. So whether or not it starts tomorrow or not, tune in, find out. If it doesn't, it'll start soon, and we'll get through them rather quickly with these fan fests, uh, much faster than we would have otherwise. So it's good timing for fan fests. But other than that, thank you all for tuning in for another episode of NAW. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, Tuesday, before I forget, 100-bit donation, hip hip. All right, thank you for that, sir. Tuesday, our next weekly dosage. And a 100-bit donation from iRob. Hip, hip. All right, thank you for that, sir. Tuesday, our next weekly dosage, Halo Infinite. If you have not downloaded Halo Infinite, it's free to play multiplayer. Join up with us. We're going to try to do big team battle, which means that myself and seven others should be able to join in the same session. I don't know if it supports more than that, but we're going to try to get those that want to be involved. Tuesday, 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 8 p.m. Eastern, Halo Infinite, big team battle, and other game modes, depending on the interest. Tune in for that. I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow morning. Until then, have a good night, everybody. Thank you all again. We'll take it. Peace.